Maybe no comment yet. I was planning on uh, a Knox spin this afternoon. However, Mother Nature is uh, not cooperating. It's been moving in for the last hour. First it was over here, it's thundering and lightning over there now. Then it made a circle around this way. Then it made a circle around this way. Now it's making a circle around this way. So I'm completely engulfed in what could be a storm. Can you hear that thunder? Where are you going? Oh, it really, it's really rough right now. They'll close the beach. Cause low tide's not till 8.30. I was planning on going about six. And it's only like 3.30, maybe 4 o'clock right now. So well, maybe this crap will blow over. But, you know, we don't know that yet. We're guessing. So, I got a call from my cat man on my truck. He said he thinks it might be in Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Wednesday would be, Tuesday would be good. Then I could use it Wednesday. I've got to take my truck in, get an oil change. And I notice my hood seems to be a little loose. Going down the road, well, it ain't as bad as I thought. At 65 or 70, it moves around a little. But what, what I don't like is, you know, I had a rear end problem. Well, that lady ran into me in January. And on my tailgate, got a new tailgate, a new, you know, and you see how tight it is right there. Well, over here, it reminds me of something else I got. It's kind of limp. I don't understand why that's like that. So they're going to look at that too when I take it into the shop on uh, Monday at uh, 1.30. So stand by for a later weather review and we might make it and we might not. A gig master went to Yorktown which is a beach north of us and found a nice uh, looked like 14k tricolor gold ring with some ice across it diagonally and then there's an equinox flooded like mine did. He sent it back for us. They sent him a call. They sent him a tag, you know, a UPS sticker. He's got to stick it on the box to send it back. He may have already done that. That happened earlier this morning. Momo's man, uh, I think he went to the land of Nala and he found, uh, he didn't find but a dollar or so worth of clad, not $15 worth like yesterday. He found, uh, I think, three rings. I have to show you the picture. I think it was three rings, no gold. And he did find a little teeny gold. Uh, Jesus pendant looking doodad and a bigger pendant which was something 120 gold I can't remember how the description is it's on my computer somewhere I can find it later the guru called he went to the oceanfront he found a 14 well he thinks it's 18k I haven't I don't have a picture of it but I may have later not from him I have to go by and take it myself he don't communicate very well on electronic devices you can see it's really black over there now coming across that little shape right there I don't know if you can see it this far with this camera or not well I'm going inside and uh, he said the fast man found a 14k I guess that was yesterday he found his today let's see what else news I got I think that's it, ring-wise. Mm. Phone just said 37 minutes, severe rain, wind. I'll get back to you. Indians think it's time to play ball because it's in the afternoon and I'm outside, but I got news for them. It ain't ball time yet.
the leader's taking down our umbrella. You need a hand with that there, leader? Well, since it took off and was airborne, it doesn't quite work right. Stand by. Are you going the wrong way? There you go. Big ol' Jack, you rolling around, big ol' Jack. Look, my Indian, my baby Indian. Look at these nice little plump figs in about three more weeks or so. They will be ready for harvesting the bees. I'm GPSing their buddies and telling them, the wasp and all the other creatures around here that eat figs besides me. Boys are coming along. I got them. I like them. They're thick as fleas up there. You want to play ball before, right? No. Yes. Don't throw it to her then. Circus train dog. Missed that one. Jack says, I ain't getting up. It's too damn hot. No, I'm laying down. You circus train dog. Yes, you are. Chris has got her roses out here. Look at that baby now. Well, it's been about 12 minutes. You can see it's cooking right good now. Gully washer. What do you think, Big O' Jack? I won't go outside. My feet will get wet if I go outside. I don't like my feet to get wet. That's the truth. He's very funny about his feet for some reason. He goes to the beach and gets in the water, but he don't like to walk around in the grass when it's wet. Big O' Jack. <clears throat> you like Big O' Jack. That storm blowed the toilets over. Oh, two of them over. Gross. Headed to early dinner so I can be back in time for a spin if the storm blows over. I can get to this gully washer right here. Stand by. Well, I'm back from dinner. I'm going to give it about a 20 more minutes, maybe a half hour, see if it stops raining. And I will not drive to Nala. It's too far with the weather like it is. I may I may slip out front if it weather, if the rain stops. Not that I melt or anything, but I just hate to start off in the rain. Stand by. We may go, we may not go. I can't even load my truck up for tomorrow morning market. I got to rush out here in the morning and rush and cram and jam to get ready to leave in the morning. That's a pain in the rear end. Not that I'm a great person for planning, but I am a better person for loading. Once I get that cap on my truck, though, I will be fixed. Everything can stay right in there. 
most everything I should say. I'm ranting. I had too much wine. Let's go see what the boys are up to. Indians are mad. They can't go outside and play. Jackson's getting scratches. I ain't getting my feet wet, Daddy. I don't like to get my feet wet. No, my little Indian. Yeah. Where's a boo-boo at? There's boo-boo. Boo-boo's the only cat I ever had that meets you at the door just like the dogs do. When he hears the garage door come up, he runs to meet you in the kitchen. He's a big boo-boo. But if you don't treat him just right, he'll swat the hell out of you. Look at him. He's a camera hog. Look at him. He's a big boo-boo. Hey, little carnivore, what are you doing? Big boo-boo. What? You hungry? They just had steak, some broccoli. <clears throat> this is shade past six. You can see it's still sprinkling lightly. I mean lightly with a big L. Low tide is uh, three hours here on the bay. Nine something. So I'm going to try at least an hour or two out front here. I don't think it's going to get any worse. It should clear up. It's dark in a few places and beautiful in a few other places. I got the uh, CTX heater. Get over there, headphones. I think we're going to have to make the, uh, what do you call that thing? The Equinox and above the wave heater. It don't seem to like being submerged very much. I think I told you Steve's the gig master. He's got flooded today. And Denny said there's a couple videos on YouTube about others being flooded. I haven't checked that out yet. And I may when I get home later tonight. We'll have to see how all that plays out. But for now, I guess under the water, I mean, you know what I mean, submerged detecting. We'll have to go with this, this piece of lead here and the uh, Excal. I've been looking at a new coil <coughs> for my Excalibur. I've had the factory 8 inch coil on there for years. And you know that's not a true 8 inch, it's like a 7 and 7 something. Long ago when Sunray made the 12 inch S12 they call it. For the Excalibur. Man that was a fine coil. I have found so many gold rings with that it's undamn believable. They don't make it anymore. You've got to have the 10 inch Mylab coil. Uh, SEF makes one, and platypus, I mean Coiltech makes a platypus. Uh, they don't make it anymore, but I found a couple in Australia. I think they're uh, 8 by 10, or either uh, 5 and a half by 9, I forget what size they are. I may buy one of them and put it on there. The Excalibur, you know, as everybody knows, is a fine heater. Dollar for dollar, probably the finest heater you can find or use for what we do. It's just not used properly by most people. Look at this. The tide is nice and low, too. I like it. But it's not low for three more hours. Oh man, there's a big bunch of dolphin off here. I know you won't be able to see them with this camera. There's a whole little herd of them, a flock of them, or whatever they whatever they travel in. Right there. I'll stop here, you may be able to see them. See them right there? They're underwater right now. There's another pod of them right there. Pod. I think that's where they travel in, pods. Look at them. They're working close to shore today. 
I'm going to put in this way and go that way and then come back and go this way if time allows. I see a lot of flip-flops here. People must have had to run off the beach and leave all their gear here. Look at that. Flip-flop city. Okay. Here we go. I heard a little thunder off in the distance. I think it's over there. I'll get back to you. The first sound was a 1210. A nice sound, 1210. Great balls of fire. I don't see no 1210, I can tell you that. Look, bleak. Bleak looking. There ain't no way it could have fallen through them little holes. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see no little teeny things. But I believe we had a false alarm. Let me swing through here a couple of times in case something jumped out. Well, I'll let you see it again. I don't see no 1210s in there. I don't see 12 anything. Let's put it on the bottom and take another look, a listen. No, not in there. No. Let's hit the hole one more time just in case if something got sideways or something. Still no 1210. I don't understand that, but I'm going to live with it. Get back to you. 1232, you see it? See what 1232 is? I don't think I like 1232, particularly. Could be a sinker or something. We got it, whatever it is. I'll be damned, look at that. Ringing the scoop. 12.32, I guarantee that ain't no gold ticket. But it is a ticket nonetheless. And a perfect fit, by the way see it or not but the rain is trying to pick up a little bit not heavy but not a mist either not many targets either is that one we didn't find and then that ring that's been it Stand by. Twelve oh seven, twelve oh eight. Low sound. I think it's bleak. You know, we might have it, whatever it is. Oh, look at that! The CTX has found a nice bottle cap. Deep, too. 1208.
Nothing is beyond his grasp. About five feet away, we got a solid 1207. I mean, a nice sound. Come out of there, Taquito. 1207, Taquito. Come out. We got it, whatever it is. Not another bottle cap. Nope. Looks like aluminum. 1207. Twelve eighteen. Twelve twenty three. Well, 32, I don't think I like it. It's big. I think it's the bottom of a can. Yeah, it is, look, see that? Bottom of a can. Okay, a fine ticket. Oh. There it goes back in the sea. Let's see if we can find it again. Well, nope, not that time. There it is. That's fine ticket. I don't know how well you can see it, but that's a new house they're building across the street from Tigley, from where I live. That's that big red roof house you see all the time. And that's one they tore down. They tore down a really, really nice house and built that thing. Or they should say their building. That's gonna be the uh, bay side looking, you know, out here towards the bay. It's a big house, or it will be. Got a solid 36, 1236. Probably a penny. I don't know, it's awful big sounding now. It's getting bigger. Probably 12 inches wide. Might be a big piece of junk. Got another can. Oh, it's jumped to 2804 now, you see it? 1238. I know this is a fine thing. Might have it, whatever it is, finally. Looks like a big piece of junk, as I suspected. Off we go. What could that be? Let's find out. We didn't find out on that scoop. 
So, feels kind of big now. I must have hit it that time. Yeah, we got it, whatever it is. I ain't expecting much now. More crap. More big old crap. Crap, I don't see nothing. Again, nothing. I think it must be some deep iron in there. I'll give it one more try and we'll move on. Yeah, I still hear the deep iron. You can see it's 1237. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, junk iron. Last scoop. Break. On we go. Been a lot of 1230s tonight, 1235s, cans and crap like that. Let's see what this is. Got a lot of irony grunts right now. It's jumped way up. I think it's just a waste of energy. Yep. A exercise in digging only. Curiosity. Says we got it. Oh, I think it's a penny. Look, it is a cruddy penny. I'll be damned. My first coin for the evening. Probably junk as well, but we got to investigate it. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I know it's round like a like a cigarette. Maybe that's it. My glasses on. I don't see anything. That's just a little piece of lead or something. Let's 
jump it out. See if we can hear it again. Yep. It's something there as big as life. And I got no idea what it is. But I know we have it in the scoop. Your guess is as good as mine as to what it is. But it sounds good, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay, that's all we'll know about that. Is gone. It's still cloudy as a devil. Clear over that way. You'll see how it goes. It's got some irony sounds next to it. I see nothing that I can determine as metal. On we go. If it's in there, it must be a tiny 12-11. I see nothing that even looks like metal. There's something outside the hole a little bit. Maybe it came out on the shaking. We got it that time. I still see nothing. I see some rocks. Looks like to me it's still there. Stand by a minute. Three scoops later, there it is. Have a pull tab. God! Can't believe it.
Got it. Another ring in the scoop. I can't tell you what kind of ring it is. 1226. Just a ring in a scoop. Kind of fits on that finger. A little tight. Just put two on that finger. That's right. Another curly penny. She's about six feet away from the other one. From the penny, I mean. I don't see anything. It looks like metal. I think it's iron down there. Just drop it out right there and see if there's anything in the sand. Nope. It sounds kind of like it's in a hole, but it might be some iron. We might have it now. I hear it rattling in the scoop. Oh, yeah. Fishing lure. Got a steel hook on it. That's why it's giving us that funny sound. This is what we call a Hopkins. They're made locally here. Been made for, I don't know, 50 years maybe. Make good bait. Look at that treble hook. That wouldn't hurt you. Well, we got about four blocks to go to the interest to get back up on the beach where I put in at. You can see the lights on the Just Big Bay Bridge Tunnel. I presume you can see them. There's a gap right there if you can see it. That's the first island, second island. I'm going to knock my way along about this same area where that uh, Hopkins lure came from. I'm about, uh, what, 100 feet off the beach? Knocking along. Terrible looking cloud right there is forming. But other than that, we've had a good spin. Uh oh, we got Tikito. Iron. Yep. There goes the neighborhood. Okay, stand by. Look at that. Little teeny sinker. You see it? Little baby one. Baby gray matter.
Here, oh, bottle cap. Of all the things to be finding late in the evening, a bottle cap. Ha! Number two, coupon man. You see him leaving the tunnel? That blue light, the coupon man. I like 1208, 1205. I think this is junk though. Feels big. I just hit it with my scoop. It's like a big piece of metal or something. I can hear it banging around in there. It's big, all right. I just don't see anything. It's dark. I can't make out anything. Uh-oh. I found it now, though. Another bottle cap. Four in a row. Three in a row, I mean. shining through there, you know. Looks like a target of any kind. I don't see a penny, I don't see a coin or nothing. Sure did sound good though, you saw the numbers. Let's dump it back out. Wait a minute. Jump it out right here, see if we can hear it. Oh yeah, something there. It ain't no big ticket, whatever it is. I guess we'll never know what that is. We just know it's not a gold knockout ring. I think the last one's going to be a dime. It says 12.43. See if it is a dime. We ought to be able to see that. Holding it over the screen, I'm talking about. It says we got it. I don't see no dime. Well, that's because it's still in the hole. That's a major reason we don't see it. Come out of there, Tiquito. We got it that time, though.
I guess we gotta feel around in the dark to find it. I ain't found it yet. I don't even see it. So it fell through, so it's laying right there in the sand. And we got it again. I just don't see anything. Well, let's take it up here on the sand. We got to go up anyway. We can't see a damn thing. See if we can find it on the sand. You would think you could see a damn dime. Okay. Ten cents. You can't see it, but there it is. Ten cents. Okay, we gotta get out of here. <coughs> well, here's the roundup. I don't know what this is. It looks interesting from the edge. I'm about to crack it open tomorrow and see. This is an elephant ring. No marks, blinger. And this has got the right color to it. It's very heavy, but I can't find any marks in it. And you saw the baby sinker. Okay. That's it. I'll add the mumbles man spin, I think it's on my computer. From this morning at the land of Nala. I got the knife gig tomorrow morning from uh, 9 to noon. And barring any foreseen setbacks, we may get out tomorrow evening for a spin. I'll get back to you. Mumbles man spin from this morning. Look like 10 quarters and 10 or so dimes. This is 925 toe, 925. That says 1 slash 2014K G at Goldfield. And then there's a little 10K Jesus. Okay. That's it. Going to press now. <laughs>